I'm going to go ahead and show you how I harvest these, um, even though they're not ready. So I generally leave a lot of the leaves on, um, but I'll remove a couple to give myself a little more room. And you can see that I've already made some slits in this. I like to see how bitter they become over time because it does change. And these are extremely bitter. So I'm just going to make a cut, well, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, but I'm just going to make a, a slit like that. And normally what I would do is harvest a number of leaves, um, maybe every fourth leaf, give myself a little room. And then the leaves that are in good shape, I dry those for tea. Uh, or I have a friend who makes smoking blends, herbal smoking blends, and she uses a lot of wild lettuce. So I give her dried leaves as well um, because there is quite a bit of sap in these leaves um, and that's shown in some other videos but I'll show you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 15-20 minutes. It just depends on really whether the sun is hitting these plants, which it is in its evening now, um, how hot it is, how humid it is. Sometimes I wait 15 minutes and it's ready. Sometimes it takes 30. Interestingly enough, with my plants, I find that in the morning it's not a good time to harvest. The latex does not flow as profusely. So I always wait until afternoon or evening. Again, that's just my experience. I'm not sure uh, about other plants and other folks who work with them. So, uh, I have tried a number of things over the past three years working with these plants to come up with the best medicine for myself. I have tried the method that I mentioned in another video that's all over YouTube that most people use where they make a very strong decoction simmering or at least in very hot water uh, for hours the plant material straining it out and then reducing it either to a thick liquid or to a paste that has not worked for me um, I have tried a combination of that and uh, strong alcohol Everclear um, doing the Everclear first and then uh, letting it sit for a few days and then putting it in the pot with the water I have tried adding alcohol to the dried lacticarium. Um, it will dissolve to a point. Interestingly enough, what's left is a white sort of gummy substance, so that may just be the natural rubber. Um, I've done that by gently heating it or just doing it at room temperature. Neither of those things have really worked well for me. Nothing has worked as well as just consuming balls of latex like they're a pill. That's exactly how I do it, and that's the way that it was done and prescribed primarily for a couple hundred years. So, seems pretty tried and true to me. I understand why people might not want, not want to harvest it, harvest it this way. Um, there is a gentleman whose name I can't remember who has several books, herbalist books, that uh, one of which I own. He has the website um, Medicinal Seeds, I believe. I hope I'm getting that right. Uh, what he does is he'll cut the top off of a wild lettuce plant and let the resin rise to the top, wait till it gets harder, pull it off, cut the plant again, and do that all the way down to the ground. I do not. I harvest these plants all the way around by making slits in the stalks and um, once they're flowering I will cut the stalk off, start the harvest, save the flowers which even though they're blooming, once you cut them they will eventually develop a seed head that looks like a tiny dandelion even just sitting in a paper bag and you can collect the seeds that way. I also usually let one plant just go to seed on its own, travel all over my yard. Most of them end up with this patch right here. Um, I do transplant others that I find in my backyard and my front yard into beds that I have prepared for them. Um, those all have first year plants right now, so I won't show you those. 
Um, what else can I tell you? I have not uh, smoked the um, dried latex. A friend of mine did, didn't feel any effects from it. It's not something I'm interested in doing. Some people do. Uh, some people also smoke the paste that is left over once it's dried from boiling these things down or simmering them down. I don't really have any interest in that. Um, I think that's all I have to say for right now. So I will come back in about 15 minutes and show you how this comes off the plant. Okay, I'm getting ready to harvest this, but I realized that um, I did not get a good image or any image of my knife as I was I was cutting the plant so I'll go ahead and do that and um, I'm barely using any pressure because this latex is just under like that green layer if I were to strip the green layer off which is very thin the latex comes from right underneath there so you do not have to hit these plants very hard with your knife um, it's been about 20 minutes and you can see that this is not super watery. If it was a little harder, I'd actually be able to get it all off without any residue left. Um, come around here. I should probably look at what's going on in the camera as I do this. <laughs> Make sure you can see it. Okay, so... If it were a little harder, I actually wouldn't hardly have any left on the on the plant. Uh, let's see. All right, this is my knife, and it's got lots of residue from other plants on there. You can see that this latex is turning a it's starting to turn kind of an ivory color. It will eventually get dark brown, nearly black, but that's another difference with um, this particular these plants is. The latex doesn't get dark for quite a while. On all of my other varieties, it happens within five, 10 minutes, and it's dark brown. So that's one uh, difference as well with these plants that are stronger than any of my other plants. It's interesting. So I'll show you what I do with that. Um, I'm gonna come over here, and I just scrape it, usually. <laughs> Not one-handed. Uh, oh, I'm terrible at this, y'all. I just scrape it onto the lid. And I have a different jar for each variety. So, so what's in there right now is from plants in the front. And that is slightly larger than a pea. And that's about the dose that I would take of this stuff that I just harvested that's here. Because the plants out front are not as strong, all three different varieties or species, whichever they are, um, I have to take nearly twice as much. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna let this harden, but not fully. I'm gonna get let it harden to the point that I can scrape it off and use the knife to sort of get it into a ball shape. That is just something that you've, I figured out by experience. If I let it dry on there completely, it will be brittle and harder to scrape off, and I won't be able to get it to form a ball. It'll be small pieces similar to the small pieces you see around the edge of that glass jar. So I made some notes. Um, I got the, in my last video, I mentioned a gentleman who does harvest the latex by hand. He does it differently than I do. He is on YouTube as Strictly Medicinals LLC, and he has a website called Medicinal Seeds that has a lot of seeds for a lot of herbs that I work with, but he's, he's probably got hundreds of different species. So if you're into herbalism, I recommend checking that website out. Um, I will be cutting the tops off of these plants when they are in flower, as I mentioned in my last video, so that I can harvest the seeds. But see, the plants are going to flower again. So that's one of the reasons that I do not chop these plants down bit by bit and collect the latex a little at a time, because I want to keep harvesting them until they have just given up on flowering. I guess that is all that I wanted to mention. Um, 
I probably won't bother showing you how to scrape it off the lid when it's a little firmer. I think most people are smart enough to figure that out. Thanks.